Okay, good morning guys. And today I will be explaining to you the steps on how to create a tie-dye t-shirt. The first thing I'm gonna ask you is how many people currently own a tie-dye t-shirt, okay? How many people have actually tie-dyed a t-shirt themselves? Okay, so you may be asking, why am I asking you about how to tie-dye a t-shirt and how is this important? Well, first of all, it's very trendy on the internet currently. It is also a very fun and interesting thing to do in Boring Old Muncie. It's also a very cheap way to create your own kind of t-shirt and create your own um, anything that you want to wear out or even just to bed. So, like I said before, we're going to show you how to create the five steps on how to create a t-shirt, a tie-dye t-shirt. So the first step is going to be collect all the necessary materials. The second thing is going to be to prepare the workspace. The third thing is going to be to um, prepare the shirt in specific pattern. And the fourth is going to be apply the dye. The fifth is going to be a dry and wash the t-shirt when ready. So as you can see, when you're going to collect the first or the valuable materials that you're going to need to create this t-shirt, what you're going to do is you're going to actually need some gloves. And so gloves are going to allow you to um, protect your skin from getting dye on it. You're going to need a plastic bag, which is going to be able to put the t-shirt, the wet t-shirt in, so it can dry for six to eight hours. You're going to need a trash bag, which is going to allow for the workspace that you're working in to be clear of dye. You're also going to need a reactive fiber dye that's going to dye the t-shirt and allow it to be strong. You're also going to need a white t-shirt, and this white t-shirt can be collected from your either your closet, it can be collected from Goodwill or Target or Walmart or anything like that. You're also going to need some rubber bands and as you can see these rubber bands are already on the t-shirt. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to actually um, prepare the shirt. So when you're preparing the shirt, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a specific pattern that you like and when you have a specific pattern, you want to make sure that you use your fingers to um, put this shirt in a specific pattern and then you're going to put the rubber bands around the t-shirt. So what I did is I actually just took my um, thumb finger and then I took my pointer finger and I went in the middle of the t-shirt and I went like this and then I twirled it and then I put the rubber bands around the t-shirt. So as you can see, I used about four to five rubber bands. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to put on our gloves. And so as I put on my gloves, I'm going to take the dye bottle and I'm going to put water in the, do the dye bottle to make sure that's full up to the brim. And then I'm going to put the cap back on and shake vigorously for about five to 10 seconds. After I shake it vigorously, I'm gonna take the cap off and then I'm ready to apply the dye. So when I'm applying the dye, I have specific sections right here and I'm gonna apply the dye to the sections that I want to be colored. So as you can see, I'm just applying right here. You wanna make sure to get all of it ready and wet get it all over. When you're using two different kinds of dyes, you want to make sure that you're not placing them on top of one another because this might cause the dye to turn out brown or even black. And so when you're doing this, make sure you get it all over it. Then you're going to flip to the other side. You're going to flip it over and just do all the dye that you want. So once I'm done applying the dye, use as much dye as you want. It can be wet, it can be dry, uh, as, as much as you want. You're going to place this t-shirt into the plastic bag and you're going to let this sit for six to eight hours. If you want to let have a, like, a lighter color, you're going to want this to sit for three to four hours. So once after you're done doing this, you're going to want to keep this and then the plastic bag, you're going to take it out of the plastic bag and make sure to have some gloves or anything like that. You're going to do this either in the sink or wherever you want that you feel the most comfortable with. And you're actually going to take a bunch of water and you're going to put the t-shirt in it. And then you're going to wring the t-shirt out until there's no more dye rinsing out from the actual t-shirt. So as you can see, this shirt is a little bit still wet, so I um, there's still gonna be dye that's rinsing out, but as you can see, you're just gonna pour all the, and then the dye is gonna rinse out, and then once the t-shirt starts stops ringing, and then um, there's no more water, or colored water rinsing out, this means that you can put it in a normal cycle and put it in a normal drying cycle. So as you can see, this is the steps on how to create a, your own very tie-dye shirt. And I hope to see the very creative things that you guys do with this um, five-step process. Thank you. Okay. This is my card. <laughs> and then these are my listeners.